Hi guys, my name is Nick and this is Nick Creation Channel. There are a lot of P2E games that are coming out in the market and we can observe some common scenarios that are happening right now. Because of the weak market, there are some strategies that are being done like moving from a blockchain network that has expensive gas fee to a blockchain network with a cheaper one. Also, we can observe that they're a great dev team but because of this weak market, they needed better market exposure and our topic for today is almost related to that. So we have this Nova Creed that will be relaunched through the price launch pad and before the end of the video, you will learn about their token launch, NFT sales, which are just around the corner. So before we start reviewing the game, so the person who contacted us for this Nova Creed game is the COO of the Price Launchpad, who is Derek Souter. You can see him here, who is fully docs, and he is also a TikTokerist uh, here. So he is personally promoting the Nova Creed project. If you want to know more about the Price Launchpad, actually they are a launchpad that is focusing on giving the opportunity for the community to get the pre-sales without lottery or lock. You just need to buy and support the launchpad by availing their tier. So they are the incubator of uh, these three projects that have been launched successfully. So if you will be getting the VIP Tier, like holding or staking $2,000 worth of price token, you will get a guaranteed pre-sale spot for their projects. You can also get guaranteed private sales spot by holding uh, $5,000 worth of price token. If you will check their white paper, actually the Nova Creed will be giving away 1,000, I think, spaceships NFT for the the people who will join their pre-sale all right so let's go to the nova creed website now so nova creed is focusing on play collect and earn that's why they have engaged known artists or lead designers coming from known brands so for example they have award-winning artwork from the artists from bbc and battlestar galactica they have luella uh, who is uh, fully docs on her instagram and website so her clients are nickelodeon cartoon network and bbc and i think there are other clients that are known under her portfolio so another focus of the nova creed is to ensure that they have a working game that's why here you can see that they have this link for the beta game launch and unfortunately this is a bit slow right now this is just the old version but if you're gonna watch this video so you can see here that the game is very simple you will select the spaceship nft you should be a holder of alien nfts as well and then you will just use the space bar to shoot and then the forward button to move from one space to another the left and right will be used to change the shooting direction of your spaceship. Alright, so I will just share the link to the game so that you can also try it. Actually, I've already tested, tested that last night, but I'm not sure why it is not working. So here we can see that their ice token launch will be done on March 26th. So let, let me check here the other information. Yep, so the ICE token will be the backbone of the next big play to earn ecosystem. The ICE hunt game that I've shown earlier is not just the game that they will be launching. There will also be PvP game inspired by Clash of Clans actually so they they have a lot of plans they even want to have this like physical uh, collectibles they want to build this metaverse and come up with missions and come up with other games that will provide more utilities to their ice token then they will be relaunching their nfts on the polygon blockchain of course we know that because of the weak market being in a blockchain network with cheaper gas fee will be strategic for the success of the the game all right so you can see here the example of the alien species here so this is their art so as you can see this is made with quality with their artists who are really experienced in creating artworks we are looking at the ice token launch uh, which includes the pre-sale and public sale this will be on march 25 and 26 for the pre-sale it will be on price uh price launch pad is really on the polygon blockchain network being part of the pre-sale and the public sale you'll be able to get the possibility of uh getting airdropped with genesis spaceships so 
Nova Creed Avatar's launch, it will happen, of course, before the spaceship. So pre-sale and public sale. I believe this will be on April 2. So let's wait for that. And let's let's ensure that we follow their social media links. So soon enough, after getting all of the two NFTs, the avatars and spaceship, you will be able to play the Ice Hunt game with earning already. Right, and then they will have their PvP battles. So if you have mastered the Ice Hunt game, you will be able to battle with your friends or other community members or players and then they will have their fleet wars this is uh, inspired with clash of clans that's what i've seen so it depends on how you will build your empire in the space through this alien assets and spaceships and then there will be cloning so this will be quarter three so second half of this year so you'll be able to multiply the number of your nfts and then marketplace will be available as well where you can also earn uh, ice tokens if you will trade or i think staking as well they will be having that on their game right so their team is not docs here guys but it doesn't mean that they are not legit i've got information from derek souter that they are docs to their team and you can see that price launchpad is fully doxed it means that they undergone kyc process and they will handle it uh professionally right and with contractual obligation although we are not seeing their pictures we know that part of their team is luella jane uh who is publicly showing her website so this is her website and she has been working with uh known brands another thing that we can see here is that they are from tech pioneers nft fanatics and they are their ceo is from a major uk startup so as you can see they are focusing on the alien assets and spaceships uh on the space they have this ice hunt game for now for the pve pvp will be like ice hunt as well but you will be battling with other players as mentioned and then they will be having two tokens so the ice token will be available in quick swap and can be traded to other tokens but the fuel token is an in-game token so it means that you can only earn that within the game and use that to here salvage missions like that will be you need some fuel as an entry and then collect ship components and build or upgrade your fleet but when you are playing the ice hunt when, when you are hitting the asteroid you can get ice token or fuel tokens and the competition is about getting high score and how long you can stay within the game all right so their vision is to actually come up with a uh, quality art that's why they have engaged experienced artists so they want to have an nft universe like no other and come up with uh, utilities with different games they're even considering uh, digital comics real world graphic novels creating physical collectibles and perhaps most importantly offering exclusive access to irl spaces and venues so we, we talk about the irl right so th this is like about in real life uh connection with the community so that's why they believe that the community is all and that's their focus how they will build that how they will uh, improve the relationship and the connection of the people within the game so there will be multiple mini games within the game and you can see here the species that will be the starting species of the game and here you can see the roles and ranks so there will be pilot navigator gunner medic engineer deckhand it's not advisable to have for example three gunners at the same time in your fleet or in your team it will be better to try to have all of the roles so that you can have more advantage in playing the game the current game and the future game also there are ranks here or oh, one star to five stars and it's not also recommended to have like uh, all admirals in your game so they're saying that the more you can collect because they're focusing on the collection right if you can collect all of the ranks then you will have better advantage to the other players so for the gameplay uh, this is the ice hunt pve and pvp uh this will be the rewards here so if you will be part of the leaderboards you will get 100 fuel plus 25,000 ice and then aside from that depending on your score you'll be able to get a certain bonus as well in terms of fuel so for example you have 4,993 divided by 50 that will be your collection bonus so there will be more fuel within the game for the mission i mentioned first you will be needing metal 
in building your ship so depending on the mission um the success rate varies as well depending on the difficulty and then all mission will be paid with 300 fuel tokens so i think this is the reinvesting mechanism of the game nft staking so you can earn fuel tokens if you will stake your nfts with a minimum period of one week so make sure that you will not use or sell your nft during the staking so if you will participate on the private sale and pre-sale stages 1000 ships will be airdropped to the early adopters just make sure that you have six or more nfts or three or three to five nfts or one to two nfts all right so for the ice token so these are just the information so it is an erc20 governance token so you can see here the interconnection player can get rewards from the game they can uh, get in-game assets from the game and then some of the revenue will go to the community treasury some of the rewards rewards will be coming from the community treasury and then when you are an ice or nft holder you can do staking and you can get rewarded as well through that so we can also see here that they have this ecosystem uh they ha are putting burning mechanism for the fuel tokens and ice tokens as well by doing the cloning missions and building and then for the staking you can get fuel if you, if you can recall that with the uh, previous pages of the white paper uh, you can get ice by staking as well and then when you are a holder of the tokens and the nfts you can do voting for the community treasury and then if you play ice hunt that requires a uh, ship and avatar at the same time so you're putting uh ice to the community treasury and at the same time getting it as well providing opportunity earning opportunities to the players all right so moving on let's go to the allocation so here we can see that the game has 1 billion ice token and they will have multiple uh, games so here we can see that ice will be unlocked in a predetermined schedule which lasts for 65 months from the public sale the initial circulating supply is set to 110 million ice equating to 11 percent of the total supply all right so for the staking we can see here how they will be breaking down the allocation for the staking rewards of ice so here are the percentage from 0.8 percent for, for the first month and so on until the 65 month which is 2.5 percent so for the roadmap we can see here that they are ahead of the ice hunt beta game launch as they already have it for testing but they are targeting mid of quarter two and then the marketplace is the same so quarter two cloning will be quarter three pvp battles quarter three fleet wars quarter four there will be have some merch for the quarter three new missions quarter three and species centric mini games will be quarter one next year so they will be coming up with games but focusing on the alien assets so 2023 and beyond so pvp modes capture the plug uh team ice hunt so there will be like team up i think related to the ice hunt game and then generation two of spaceships player created assets and inventions interactive metaverse and then they are also planning to invest on sandbox and voxel avatars in the future they are planning to have their own marketplace so that they can save up some of the fees and convert it as a reward to their community so cloning their cloning will be inspired by the board ape uh, like having the mutant serum and they will be having this nova breed serum so we will know more about that in the future so they're looking at potential for 25 subspecies right now i think we they only have six right the most awaited right so the ice token will be launched on 7 p.m utc so march 26 2022 and then the nova creed nfts will be launched on april 2 7 p.m utc as well and then you will be able to play the ice hunt p2e game as expected on quarter two so april 2 and april 7 so guys what do you think about this nova creed game and the price launch pad now that you know the information about the game are you bullish on this game let me know your thoughts and put that in the comment section and if you believe that 
this video is helpful please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be updated with the future game review that we are doing in our channel also i will be putting all of the links that i've shown here so that you can also visit the game details and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask below thanks for watching and see you on my next video bye